Hey everybody, Mr. McIntosh here, and today I'm reporting on an issue with macOS Big Sur Internet Recovery. If you have macOS Big Sur installed on your Mac, you should be able to boot to macOS Big Sur Internet Recovery by holding down Option Command R when you boot up. But the problem is, users are reporting that Lena Internet Recovery is booting instead of Big Sur. So I'm gonna go over a live demo of this happening. I'm gonna show you a little bit more information about which version your Mac should boot to, and then I've got some updates on possible fixes in the future. We've got a lot to go over, so let's jump in and get started. This issue was first reported in early December. When it came out, it was a big deal because if you wanted to boot to internet recovery and reinstall Mac OS Big Sur on your Mac, you weren't able to because you received Catalina instead. So I figured that this is just a server side issue and this has happened multiple times in the past where Apple has had issues with internet recovery and within a couple days or a week it would be fixed. The problem is, is this hap started happening in early December and now here we are on December 30th and the issue is still not fixed. So it's kind of weird that it's taken almost a month for Apple to resolve this issue and we're trying to figure out what the deal is here. So let's talk about which versions of of macOS internet recovery you should get. And let me note on this only has to do with Intel Macs. Internet recovery is no longer supported on Apple Silicon Macs. Well, you might be wondering, well, what version of internet recovery am I gonna get if I boot my Mac? Well, it all depends on which version of Mac OS is installed on your Mac and which keyboard command you issue. So let's go to what Apple says. And if you boot your Mac with Option Command R, you will get the version of Mac OS internet recovery that is the newest version available for your Mac. So if I have, a, let's use an example of a 2019 MacBook Pro that has macOS Big Sur 11.0.1 on it. That's a T2 Mac, so it's going to be determined by the BridgeOS version that's on it is compatible with 11.0.1. So if I boot that Mac to Internet Recovery, I am supposed to get Mac OS Big Sur Internet Recovery version 11.0.1. And that's with T2 Macs. Whatever the highest version of Bridge OS that is installed and compatible with is with the version of Internet Recovery that I'm gonna get. So another example is if I have a 2018 15 inch MacBook Pro with 10.15.4 Catalina on it, I'm going to boot to Internet Recovery and I'm going to get the exact version of Mac OS Catalina 10.15.4 because that's the newest version of Mac OS that can boot and is compatible with the Bridge OS that is installed on your Mac. Now, if you have a 2017 and below all the way back to 2013, and again, we're talking about Big Sur compatible Macs here, you will get Big Sur no matter what because that is the newest version available. There's no restrictions on what version, and it will be the latest version too. So you should get, a as of the date of this taping, December 30th, 2020, you will get Big Sur 11.1. So that's how it, the internet recovery is determined. And again, it gets a little bit confusing with the T2 Macs, but as I said, the latest version of BridgeOS that is compatible with your Mac is the version that you're gonna get for internet recovery. So now the problem is, is that if you boot any Big Sur Mac to recovery, you are going to get Catalina. So let's move over to our demo machine here and let's reboot this system to internet recovery. So I'm gonna reboot the system. And, and this is a 2014 MacBook Pro. It's got Mac OS Big Sur 11.1. So if I, if I boot this up, and again, I'm not a T2, so I should get the latest version available, which is Mac OS Big Sur 11.1. So we will hold down Command Option R to get the latest version of Internet Recovery. Okay, we're booting to Internet Recovery here. Again, I, we should be booting into Mac OS Big Sur Internet Recovery, but what we're gonna get is Catalina. Again, normally when you reboot or normally when you wanna reinstall Mac OS, the most efficient way on an Intel Mac is to boot to a USB hard drive or a USB flash drive. That's the quickest way. Internet recovery, is, depending on your connection, this is going pretty quickly here. It's saying there's only about two minutes left to go. Normally it can take anywhere between five and 15 to 20 minutes, depending on your connection, just to get into internet recovery. Once you're in though, then you can you know use disk utility and reinstall macOS, but the 
most efficient, quickest way is to boot off the USB installer because that's even quicker than booting to the internal recovery because you're still downloading Mac OS Big Sur, which is almost 13 gigabytes over the internet. And instead, when you're booting to the USB flash drive, you're installing that directly from however fast your USB. So if you have a 3.0 USB 3.0 hard drive or a Thunderbolt hard drive, you're going to be installing at really quick speeds so that's usually recommended but even internal recovery you're again you're you're going to be taking as long as your download connection is and that can be anywhere between a half hour and up to two hours to download that 13 gigabytes from apple servers so again those are usually the ways to do it but for example let's say you can't boot recovery let's say something's wrong so your only option is internet recovery or let's say you perform a remote wipe with MDM or Find My Mac, then the only option is internet recovery. So if you had Big Sur on there, you're going to be stuck having to install Catalina first and then installing Big Sur over the top. And that's if you have a T2 Mac. If you have external boot protections enabled, you won't be able to boot from a USB hard drive or USB flash stick. So you're stuck booting from internet recovery and that's your only way to do that if you have an older mac you can just get a usb installer and boot that way so here we go the download finished of the internet recovery and now we're actually booting to the internet recovery on that's on the mac right now so we'll give it a second here and we're in as you can tell right away we are in catalina recovery so again, this is not the end of the world, and you can still reinstall Catalina and then make the upgrade to Big Sur. You can't use StartOS install from a USB hard drive inside here, or use USB flash drive, because you can run to upgrade, but that doesn't work in the Catalina uh, recovery environment. I tried it, it errors out. So you're stuck kind of reinstalling it from here. So that's it for that. So let's minimize this here. And let's go back to the update. So what's interesting is, is that there was another Mac admins Slack form user that has reached out to Apple about this. And he, here's his response here. Apple is aware of the issue. They are telling me that it's a server side issue and that is being worked on right now. No ETA. On, on my side, I will try to get back with him over the holidays, January 4th through 5th. Now, keep in mind, he posted this seven days ago. So here we are on December 30th. Again, this is now a month this is happening. It is possible that this could be resolved after the holiday break, maybe the week of January 4th, but we're going to have to see. But right now, this is a current issue, and I wanted to keep you guys apprised of the situation. I'll post an update in my Twitter or on this article here when there is an update or if Apple fixes the issue. So I hope this video created value for you. If it did, click on that like button or click the subscribe button for more videos like this in the future. And if you are a current subscriber, I really appreciate it. And we'll catch you in the next video. Thank you.